Hey there, I'm Luis and welcome back to my channel. The typical day in Hero Wars mobile version. What is it like? Well, the first thing you should be doing is checking on your daily quests here. This is where you have all these uh, standard issue rewards that you should be doing daily, or at least most of them, so that you collect um, the, their, their precious rewards and you know evolve your, your account over time. So the first thing you should be doing is immediately getting the free energy. The first one that will show up here is from 9 a.m. till 11 a.m. or 9 hours till 11 hours in 24 hour schedule and um, that will give you 60 energy then we have from 13 to 16 or in 24 hour clock from 1 p.m. till uh, 4 p.m. so we collect that now we have a bunch of energy to spend so I'll do some I'll do some some soul collecting, I guess. So I'll I'll find here something, or probably they already did this morning. Let's see here, ginger. Yes, I already collected here some soul stones for for ginger. Let's check on maybe Artemis. And now I'll try to get. Um, yes, these ones here. We go for these ones. Oh, too bad. No luck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing of value so we still have 121 energy and the next thing I will do so I will try to get some soul stones then the next thing I will do is try to get some items and I'm in the process of um, doing some mix work here on my main heroes but also evolving some of these extra supports for different purposes I will try my luck here and try to get some of these rings, the pastor seals. Let's go. And uh, not really much luck today, but still, I got two, two out of ten fights, so it's not, it's not terrible, not ideal, but not terrible. Let's see now for for Jet here. Um, I think I think all of these require. Yes, I ah, no no, I still need some some candles or some hand of glory. So. Let's go for those. See, um, probably most of you will be on the phase of getting violet items, so I think this is also um, kind of a good explanation for you guys. See, most of these uh, violet items are, are really used in large quantities, um, not just in the uh, Violet, le violet levels, but also on the gold levels or, or orange ranks. So, um, sorry, <laughs> violet ranks and orange ranks of your heroes. So, they are probably the most used items. I I think orange items, um, if they're not used this at the same amount uh, or 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 more. I'm not sure about that, but um, you know, you use a lot of or orange, but also a lot of violet items. So I figured this would be <laughs> more relevant for for those players. And um, and with that in mind, I'm I'm in my in my um, experience noticing that these ones tend to be used the most: the the giant slayers, the pastor seals, the candles here, the hand of glory. And then, at, le at least in, I believe, in less amounts, we have the Desert Blades and the Minotaur's Heads. Then everything else is used in less quantity, especially these ones. They, they are used in much less quantity. You have the Recipes, they, they get used a lot. But I think these ones here, all these uh, six ones here are the most used in the viol Violet type of items, also the, the Flaming Hearts. But I think specifically more more these this trio here the candles the I call them the candles the candles the giant slayers or like the uh, the the horns of the deer <laughs> and uh, the rings the pastor seals so done with the energy and the items let's see let's see what else we have here in the list so um, we with that we did some missions we did some heroic missions I already also um, went here in the exchange and played a, a video this morning so it's not available now but I can roll up one one time here 
for an additional um for an, an additional time that I'm doing the the equivalent of the of the roll so to to get the the, the gold exchanged for emeralds so it, it replaces the, the video replaces the emeralds you can do this three times a day every 8 hours uh, if you happen to not be able to to do it three times you can do for example two times and then roll one time here on the 20 emeralds and then you that 20 emeralds will replace your your video there that you cannot make and anyways doing the three videos is entirely free to play so those are done let's collect these to get them out oopsie to get them out of the way next step in line well i like to do um the highwayman because that's so fast so depending on your uh, progress in the game, you might be on the easier ones here. Uh, but once once you, you grow up your account a lot, uh, uh, enough at least, you will be doing either Ademaras or Vaderi and then later on just Vaderi. So I'm going to do Vaderi because that's the most rewarding and I've unlocked it. So I'll just do that five times there. Don't waste time doing the others if you have a dairy available. So we collected those. Let's see what else. XP potion. Uh, if you have heroes to develop, uh, just apply it to them. Um, your your main heroes, your uh, second in line heroes. If you don't have any 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 heroes left to develop, uh, just go you know randomly or. Uh, Pick someone that you would like to see a bit more developed, but you don't have any priority for them. Yeah, just go without thought. I have all my main heroes and, and even our extra supports all at 120, so it doesn't matter. I'm going here for judge. You can just click one time to just spend one potion if you're running out of potions and you want to do um, this, this daily quest every day and save some potions for a later time. Uh, you just click one time, right, like that. You spend some some xp potions one xp potion to be precise and um you can also click here plus one to just grow an entire level and it will use as many potions as needed so done with that quest then uh, the expeditions of course let's do expeditions that should be the second thing you should be doing um every day so first collect the energy and then if you have already uh, 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 um more than more than the energy that you can store. So in my case, that's 180. I had 181, and you can check that here. Um, so total 180. So if you have uh, already all that energy, you should be spending that next. And then second or third would be the expeditions. Let's collect here Valkyrie's favor before I forget, because I. I'm I'm paying for this, so I should be collecting this. Then I get the expeditions. The expeditions, this one, uh, the nine hours here, is um, de dependent on Valkyrie's favor. And it's all... Um, if I'm not mistaken, depending on Valkyrie's favor, this is uh, every nine hours on mobile. And then we have this one here. Uh, this is all, I think, uh, depending on VIP 8. And then the rest... Um, there might be I don't I don't remember for sure uh, another one depending on VIP seven and no another one VIP six something like that I don't really recall anymore because that was uh, a long time ago when I r reached those goals but you, but you you will see you will see on your account uh, if there's any requirements um getting getting VIP eight will be costly. Um, but doing doing the, the Valkyrie's favor, I believe, is very worthwhile. If you and if you can't do that, that you should be doing that. That will help you a lot. And eventually, you you will just uh, grow up your 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 VIP uh, level um, with just the Valkyrie's favor naturally over time, and that will unlock additional things over time for you. Okay, so. Now I, I've put three, four uh, expeditions going. This one will be short. I will come back later to do these other ones. And then let's see what else. Um, uh, regarding also the, 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 the VIP level, you can consult that here. I've grown up uh, a lot during the time. 
I'm no longer actively spending just doing the, the Valkyrie's favor. I'm not interested in spending unless I really run out of emeralds and I really need uh, to get some emeralds. That's the only time I will go here and wait for a, a, a X4 sale. But I haven't spent any uh, money actively uh, aside of Valkyrie's favor um, since uh, like October last year, 2020. Okay. Um, so, um, also the, the, the expeditions, you, you might want to check this chest every now and then. Okay. We'll do not, we'll do it now and open here 10. And we, we got some, some rewards out of this. Okay. Now, next step in the list. So we can complete these ones. We have here all these um, extra extra quests. Let's let's see. We have Outlands. We have the Hydra. So what what do I do typically after I, I get the energy and set up some expeditions? Uh, and if po and if needed, uh, spend some energy. I will do next the things that will. Um, also, the uh, the highway man already did it. That's that's very quick. I will do some things that I will start doing some things that will take uh, a little bit of time. But then I, I can start uh, uh, at the same time doing other things in my real life, like uh, I don't know, brushing my teeth. Um, eating breakfast, uh, having lunch if, if I'm starting this later. So we'll do those now. Oh. We're gonna go here in the Outland and, and pick some of these. Also because then I can spend the things that I'm earning on, on these uh, various parts of the game to, to grow my account a little bit further before doing other things like fights. So let's do this one. Um, I'm not going uh, over the tactics for Outlands and you, you see that I have here auto mode enabled and I also can enable speed up combat. That's always what I will do. Get this done as quickly as possible. Uh, speed up combat is only available uh, for um, Valkyrie's favor uh, users. So... For for the rest of you that don't have Valkyrie's favor, you will have to do these fights at the normal uh, speed. But then again, you can just start doing the battle and then go about your daily life, you know. And you come back every I don't know five minutes and put another fight going. So that's another fight done. Um, the Outlands, you should be doing three different bosses a day so that you can collect one of the rewards. And then you need to do five fights to get uh, the other reward. So I think he has um, two tiers, three fights and then five fights. Then he has an extra, an extra tier, which is seven f fights. So we'll just do now uh, the free-to-play version of this. The free-to-play version of this is just doing those five fights, and why? Because that doesn't involve uh, spending any emeralds. I'm picking this one because I need I need more uh, strength uh, skin stones. And that's it. Uh, if we are lucky, uh, we might be presented with um, either a bigger amount of uh, skin stones, or a bigger amount of those uh, outline coins, or even a skin, or even a skin certificate. There, 
There we go. All the five fights are finished. Past this, uh, we can do three more fights. So out of out of fights here, zero uh, out of five. Well, we can do three additional fights, but this will cost uh, emeralds. Okay, three fights possible, at least for my VIP level. Um, each will cost fifty emeralds. You can see those limits here. It's very easy to get uh, to VIP three, four, five, uh, just by doing Valkyrie's favor because it, it will accumulate the, um, the needed points over time and you will get there eventually. So, and those Outland fights, let's see, where do they show up? Um, maybe I'm mi mixing that with something else. Ah, I'm probably mixing at that with something else. But anyways, you can see here, um, for example, you will have at VIP 1 the instant loot raids um, and also access to the VIP shop, that, that is something uh, recent, new. Then, um, ah, there it is, ability to participate in extra battles in Outlands one time a day. So that's one of the three. And then um, as you go by on the VIP tree, you get access, uh, I guess, still the same, still the same. But you also get a quick dungeon auto battle at VIP tree. So uh, really, uh, as a, a free to play uh, player, if you're doing a free to play uh, uh, way of playing, you, you ideally you would not be spending money, but I really, I really uh, recommend that you be doing the Valkyrie's favor, and you can just stay on that and do nothing else. Just the, the Valkyrie's favor. That's the most rewarding uh, thing you can do for uh, the lowest amount of money, and with that you can grow your account quite a bit and get access to all these uh, great things like the the auto dungeon, so that you can do it very quick. The loot raids in in campaigns, so that you don't have to uh, you know wait for each each fight. That's so so. Um, time consuming especially in the start of of the game when you have uh, these uh, large amounts of energy to spend in uh, 7 days 14 days and if you're not spending it you're just wasting it and if you can really spend it quick by doing by doing uh, raids then uh, you take effort you take the advantage of that and your account grows so much so much better really much better then uh, you have um, here, VIP 4, two, two times for Outland, and VIP 5, it's three times for Outland. So with that, I, I think I've uh, exposed that a bit. And we also have the, uh, here the, the, the tower chests. So this, this starts to grow, and at VIP 5, you, you already get a lot of things. So really worth doing that by using by using the the game mechanics intelligently. Don't, don't, go, don't go nuts buying emeralds, don't go nuts buying... Uh, um, like these offers here, going for uh, hero, hero uh, souls and and skins. No, just go for the Valkyrie's favor. Nothing else, okay? <laughs> if you need some emeralds, okay, use a a times three or times four emerald sale. But stick to that. Also, the first purchase will will give you Celeste on mobile, so that's also worth doing for like uh, seventy nine cents of of a dollar of euro. That's okay. But otherwise, don't, don't go nuts spending. No, no point, really. <laughs> My opinion, at least. Let's go. Let's go. Next in line, we have. Um, let's go. Do the Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra. So by the time I'm doing the Hydra, it's like um, I'm already doing other other larger things like cooking or whatever. So my my guild is doing the fire. And dreadful fire. I will help out here. Um, I will try to speed up this as as quick as possible. But this will take a little time, so bear with me. Oh, I forgot about something. You can you can skip the fights entirely by just. Um, I'll show you how. I'll show you how. 
So the next fight, this one they did uh, 540,000 uh, damage, not enough to kill it. You can you can um, you can press the button here and then skip like this, skip battle, and they will just do the auto fight, and then you can move on and spend less time on this. That's another option instead of letting letting it run. So it's still alive. At this point, I will leave it to someone else, and I will do hydras that I'm I'm much more performant. So the darkness hydra and the light hydra, for example, I do way more damage there. Let's do the first two fights um, in full, or just a little bit. See. Um, my damage deal is already gone, so I'll just skip now. They managed to do uh, 600,000. Next fight. Now this fight is the one that is more interesting. So Rufus will, at least for a while, just keep keep coming back alive. Oh, I lost the others except Dorian. Um, I mean uh, Orion. But Orion is uh, continuously fighting because he has vampirism from from Dorian so he just stays alive throwing all these missiles at the Hydra there we go 3.7 million next fight and you might ask why I don't I'm not using Jew or Mojo well I didn't add those developed and that's why I am developing them now. That's why you saw them on my list at uh, already at level 120 and such things. I'm I'm working them out, but it will take time. So now just skip. Get this done quick. And then we go back to the to the rewards. Well, done. I've spent all my f my free my three free horns. I have accumulated horns for other occasions, but my free to play horns are done. So we'll stop now. This is how I do my my day to day basis. So now I collect the rewards. One, two, and three. So let's recap. I've done the most important things at the start of the day. I've I've done. Uh, collecting energy at uh, uh, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. or 9 hours and 11 hours. I've spent that energy because uh, then I, have, I had too much energy. I've started expeditions. Okay. Then um, I've, I've done Highwayman, I've done Outlands, and I've done um, the Hydra. Those are all things that will take some time, and you can do them. Throughout the day, <coughs> doesn't need to be right at the start of the day, but I, I like putting them in course while I'm doing other things. Then uh, let's see what else we can do. We can now do all the the things that are really manual, okay? Spending resources. So I will do um, artifacts now. I will check here a hero that I want to develop. Don't mind my strategy here. There's a reason for this. It's mostly dramatic. So I'm just spending some here. Done. Then we have the gift of the elements. And now I'll teach you a little trick. And so if you don't have enough gold uh, or you don't have uh, enough sparks or you already spent uh, all the sparks you needed on your, your best heroes, which is not my case, Although I am a bit short on gold and I have a lot of sparks. 
what can you do? You can just pick any any uh, random hero, doesn't matter, or one of your uh, weaker ones that you haven't uh, evolved sparks yet. So yeah, um, I mean, give out the elements, and you can just activate one level, the first level. So just go for one that has no levels uh, yet. Just activate the first level, and you spend 250 sparks and 7,000 gold. Okay, and then you just reset. You lose 7,000 gold, but you get back the 2050 sparks. And you can just do this every day, and you will collect your reward. And it's basically the same as trading 7,000 gold for 300 Titan potions. Neat, huh? Just do this every day. <laughs> spend, spend the 7,000 gold and the 250 um, sparks. Get back those 250 sparks and then get the reward. 300 Titan Potions. Free to play tactic. Huh? No need for spending. Next, let's do the, the guild activity. This is very important. And why? Because not only you are developing your, your heroes, but you also get you also get the the 700 activity points, daily points. And that's very, very important because that will give your guild extra rewards and that will give yourself extra rewards. So if same, same as before or kind of same as before, if you're running out of runes or gold and you need to, you, you want to do this and you should be doing this daily, then you can just pick a random hero and you can enchant just one level like this and spend just five of these cheaper ones and 1,500 gold and just get one level there, okay? I'm not going to do that because I have uh, enough runes accumulated and gold, so I don't need to resort to this static. But in, in case you're not getting enough runes or you're lost, you run out of runes, that's, that's one way. But in reality, as long as you're in a healthy guild, you will, you will get uh, enough runes daily to just upgrade one rune in any of your main or secondary heroes. So I don't really know how much I'm getting every day, but for example, here for Daredevil, I can increase uh, her physical attack uh, a level. And um, this will cost me some gold, not too much gold. Yeah, 50,000 gold, so more or less. And some runes here, but I will still be getting enough runes um, to cover this for a long time. And eventually when I start running out of runes, I'll just pick uh, a, a glyph that is less developed, that costs less runes. For example, I can go for uh, uh, Dorian here or Marta here. You know? These ones will, will cost me much less to, to develop daily. Uh, just uh, 11 here. And so you, you can keep doing this and keep getting the daily reward um, eventually you should be spending um, a lot more uh, runes on, on those main heroes instead of accumulating like I did but you will you will be able to do this daily and this is what you get if your guild is active enough so I did his I got the 700 activity points if um, if all the 30 players of your guild is doing this just getting those 700 um, 700 uh, activity points by leveling a glyph. Your guild will be will be getting uh, everyone in your guild will be getting 21,000. I mean, your guild will be getting 21,000 activity points. So everyone will be getting these 15 enchantment runes. This is enough to finish to finish one uh, uh, rune, one uh, one glyph, one level, one uh, leaf level every day. So it's really free to play, easy to do. Now, if your guild is more like mine, and then it's doing 30,000 and more, then you will get additional ones. And if you're uh, in a guild that is even more active, you can get access to these greater enchantment runes. But this starts, th this goes over the point where many players are not free to players uh, anymore. But these ones here, super easy to do. These ones take, take a bit more effort, but completely possible. So to do 29,500, it means that your your guild needs to be doing your guild members need to be doing every one of them 983 
and that's not too difficult. You see here, I spent that that free energy in the morning. I did this, and already I'm already at 960. That means by the end of the day, when I have collected those three uh, three times 60 energy and also. Uh, accumulated energy throughout the day because this co collects every every um, every one minute I, g I get um, I, I act actually every five minutes I get one more I think it's like that you will have enough energy to to meet this goal more than enough okay so <laughs> please guys do that quest spend that energy collect and spend that energy and help yourself and your guild because help yourself you'll get these additional 10 runes here and gold and you will keep getting um, more runes and more gold as you go so it's perfectly possible to reach 1000, 1100 about that every day completely possible as a free to play player Okay. next up we're going to do the skills and, and then we have also the skins don't go there, it's, it's super slow to go there. So let's go now and do the, let's do the skills. So I will pick one of these heroes and yeah, let's put here 10, 10 levels. Because I'm growing uh, Mojo and because this is also now the uh, cheap sink to put some, some points. <laughs> this is much less expensive than for example, trying to level up, uh, oh, what? Like you had here, uh, the level 70 skill here is much more expensive. So I've done those. Now we'll do the skins. I'm currently developing my armor skin here for, for Astron. Should, should we have done this a long time ago, but I, I left him at level 50 for a long time. And now I'm planning to get to 60 as quickly as possible. But I'm running out of these, so I'll have to do something else for those extra skin stones I will need. So I just do this one time a day. And so I keep keep doing this, can keep doing this every day and collecting the the rewards. Eventually, I will have to spend to spend these um, large skin stone chests here. Next up, we've collected that and that. This one we're waiting. We do we did hear the free to play uh, part of it. Energy keeps coming. We have the ads, we have the chests in the tower, and opening just chests in our inventory. Let's do now the tower. The tower I, I usually do at the end of the day, um, on across my accounts. Uh, of, uh, although, uh, for example, uh, on my mobile account, I've already finished level 90. So, I can collect the free-to-play rewards here. And uh, just be done with it in 5 minutes. Um, Something to note, you might have uh, uh, quests that sometimes uh, um, need you to do tower tower, uh, tower chests to get extra rewards or you have the uh, quests that, that need you to spend emeralds. It's not the case here. So I might every now and then uh, open a few extra chests by just doing this. And these ones till level 26 cost only 50 emeralds, so it's a, it's a good choice to spend less. For free to play players it's, it's really neat. And otherwise you just uh, open one per level and be done with it really really quick in depending on the speed of your device. Uh, I don't know, two minutes, five minutes. Um, if you haven't finished, um, if you haven't reached level, level account level 90 and finished the, the, the tower seven times straight winning i think it's seven if not seven nine something like that then you don't have access to this you have to do the fights but uh, regardless you should be doing the tower daily uh, till the end and collect all those all those rewards because this is your main source of gold uh, eventually on mobile the dungeon will is waiting a refactor and it will will give you more gold but still the tower, I think, will still be the um, the number one source of gold for for mobile, but also for uh, browser users. Okay, so we just keep doing this, and we also get some items. Um, I'm not 
trying to follow a strategy, although there is strategies here. I'm not going over those here. And I'm just collecting the gold quick. Yes, contrary to belief, there are strategies you can do here. I hope I can do a video another time about that. Uh, you can <laughs> call me a liar, you can try to debunk me, but I have strategies for this. So, close to 1 million gold and some items. Um, all gold items, orange items, so that's, that's useful for me at this, at this stage. Let's see what else we can do. The tower, collect the reward there. We have uh, the video ads. So I, I've done one. I'm not going to do more because that's uh, like... Uh, I'll tell you where you, can sh uh, where you can do those. So you've seen that you can do here. And this is for uh, and, um, exchanging emeralds for, for gold, but you can do it for free. But you can also go here and, and do that here. You just click one of these buttons here and so I don't want to promote any 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 shady business <laughs> or any other business for that matter but you can um, collect these ones here randomly by clicking here and then you, there's more you can do here on the shop on the theater okay and by clicking the get ticket and you should exchange every day you should exchange uh, or whenever you want to exchange you should exchange all your uh, raid tickets um sorry uh well what is called the video tickets for emeralds that's the 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 only thing worth doing here unless you run out of energy and you have some some quest you want to to finish then you you should get some energy but like 99 percent of the time you should be getting the emeralds okay while we are here we will take a look at the, the shop and do this because this is also something you should be doing daily um i'm getting xp potions daily and you can every day for free um, reset every shop. So I'll do that here and get some more XP potions. You can get these three times a day. So in the morning, then early afternoon, and then uh, after after 21 hours or 9, 9 p.m., you will be able to get more. Plus, plus the one time you can uh, renew the shop. That's for the, the town shop. And uh, eventually some items here, but I don't need any of these items. I have too many of fragments in this case. Then you have the VIP shop. This is not for free to play users. I never use this shop because I don't think these prices are fair, so I just ignore it. Then you have the arena where you spend the arena coins. And uh, I have nothing here that I need. Uh, or maybe I have. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's always best to just go, go on your heroes and see what they need. So no, I don't. I don't think I need any. I don't know why why it still lists that, but uh, or maybe it was faceless. Maybe it was faceless. Oh yes, faceless. Faceless needs one of these, but already. Oh no, I don't have. So we'll get this to save me time and resources, mainly energy. So I get one of those. I renew the shop, and I don't think there's anything of interest here. Then we go to the tower shop and we reset this get the gold every day get this gold please <laughs> oh i could have gotten this for a much more better deal than the arena <laughs> oh but it's already done too bad oh um, but it's just the recipe anyway so th this one i got the item i oh, cannot see anymore but i got the item there and and in there i can get uh, just the recipe or was it both recipes? I, I feel cheated. <laughs> I feel cheated. Anyways, um, yeah, I might as well just start building this up. Uh, oh no, I still need the hats. The hats. So for another time. Ah, I wanted to feel less less regretful, but uh, too bad. Going back to the shop. So yeah, uh, spend preferably um, tower coins on items because these are easier to get to get than the arena coins. So I'll wait for the, the next, at in 6 hours, at, at 21 hours, the same for the town shop and the same for the arena. They all reset at 21 hours. Then, the highwayman, um, you get this daily and just, just from the highwayman quest, uh, but you can also eventually get those from chests. 
the highway main coin and other things like uh, the season, astral season and so on. There's nothing of interest here for me. Uh, uh, well, except maybe Lilith Soul, Soulstone, so I can get her to to max max evolution. Ah, there we go, the hats. <laughs> See, always worth having patience. So now I could go here. My faceless, and I I ha oh I can do that here, <laughs> but no, <laughs> I'm gonna do this here before I forget. There you go. You got the uh, Sage's Crown. You happy? <laughs> the other one will have to wait. Next up, we have the... So, the um, Highway Man uh, shop also resets in six hour, 7 hours close. So, like 21 hours. And we have the Outland coin. Outland shop, I mean. And... Um, there's a time where... And this is what we're talking about. There's a time where you might be collecting souls from the arena, from the tower, from the highwayman, from the outland. It's not anymore the case for me. I already have all I wanted from those, except Lilith here. Um, and also in the Grand Arena shop, you will also have uh, souls, to, uh, souls here. Um, but in case you have a, a limited time um, uh, event, that rewards you for getting soul stones. This is something you could be doing daily to get those rewards. You can just randomly uh, click uh, any of these here and here and here, whatever, as long as you have available a uh, coin and get as much soul stones as you can to finish those those quests so that you or special events so so that you can collect those precious rewards, which often often are. Uh, I don't know skin stones, uh, whatever the, whatever they are, you can collect those by doing this quest by spending um, coin to get souls. Okay, if not, um, what you can get here on the outland is a bit different in importance uh, of the other shops. So I tend to not spend um, coins here in outland um, in items. I just tend to uh, stock them up for skin shop certificates and for skin stone chests. Yesterday I got these ones because I figure I, I want to, to get this one this item done so I can uh, upgrade my my heroes. So I started spending a little bit here, but I don't I don't do that often. I just try to save it for skin stone chests and skin and skin certificates, okay? Uh, contrary to the others where I will get items. All these three shops I will get the items. And this one, well, that depends. Then the grand so in this case I'm um I'm going to renew the shop here. I'm going to get some more here. And once I get 80 I'll stop and I will just uh, start saving again and just get these uh, these ones that I mentioned. Then the Grand Arena. Well the Grand Arena uh, typically I'll just go for the items. Also, one note, one note. Uh, this, uh, all of these shops items, they will, they will change over time. And uh, for example, here I think usually just just uh, blue items. I think here um, you start with, or, or better, you start here with gray items and then you get added blue items. But I don't recall if you get other colors. I think yes, I think uh, also violet shows up here, but I'm not sure, probably not the orange. On the tower shop you will get here, uh, for the starters, probably probably gray, then blue, then you get also violet. But I I don't recall seeing here orange. Actually, I don't recall seeing orange in arena or tower. But anyways, uh, this will keep uh, uh, changing randomly and depending on your your account progress you will start seeing here a different color so violet violet color at least on both of these shops but not always you see on the arena i don't have in the tower i have also the town shop they will also list here a violet but not orange then uh, highwayman um i think is mostly the same I don't recall seeing here also orange. And then Outland and Grand Arena, these always have um, the, the possibility of orange. But they might show uh, violet. And if it shows violet here, 
never get those okay only save these outline coins for orange items and for the skin certificates and the skin stones and eventually the the souls okay don't don't waste that on uh, the outline coins on violet items don't do that for the grand arena it's it's safe to to spend on whatever you want okay uh, the the violet items the orange items the the great runes since i usually have enough runes i don't i don't get those i just go for the items or for the souls if i need it but in this case i don't need any more and uh, typically i will get the um, orange items but sometimes there's a good offer for a violet item that i need i don't i don't want any of those now we have the the um, the soul sh the soul shop and this spends uh, soul coins that you get from extra um, extra souls from heroes that you already reached six stars and these will vary a lot uh, of what you should be getting here so do you want jet do you need jet you should be getting jet do you not need him do you not want him at all maybe you, you're not trying to get him now but in, sometime in the future then there's other options you, you you can be getting and you should be getting in that case artifact chest keys or summoning spheres probably summoning spheres are, are more uh, useful to get your titans uh, quickly evolved um, and, and upgraded by using by by ex exchanging then later the extra souls for for the titan soul coin then and those for the titan potions to upgrade levels on your titans but if you are the if you already have maxed your titans then you don't need those but so just things to, to have in mind and i would say at last resort the items uh, i would not get go for the huge xp potions unless you're really trying to upgrade one of your heroes to max level and it's just a little tiny bit and it's annoying you to hell <laughs> you just go here and, and grab some i guess and and max that hero out uh, if not don't don't touch those but items they they might be uh, worthwhile but i don't i wouldn't go for the violet but sometimes the the orange can be useful because the items that show up here sometimes they are very rare and so so sometimes it will be worth worth getting but i'm just going for the jet the chat souls so i can get now five and in in six hours and 30 minutes i can get another five you see these ones these are, are are rare so i'm not needing them now but eventually i might start collecting these here the key to all doors but these ones no i have too many <laughs> don't spend on those <laughs> finally the theater where well, i already covered this so that's all the the shops we're going to close now the shops let's see other quests here, uh, other uh, re rewards here. You, you get rewards here for the the, the 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 guild boss battles, for grand arena defenses, for arena defenses, for activity. Let's go over these ones. So this is fairy dust for the for the guild boss battles. We have here coin for the grand arena because I defended successfully. We have uh, let's see if we have uh, an arena. No. I don't have one for the arena. Let's have here this one for a uh, guild activity. So the one we had the one daily quest we had done before and uh, had, had given us directly uh, uh, um, rewards but then the guild reached certain number of activity points so i start collecting these extra rewards here on the mail not on the on quests on daily quests but on mail so collect those then um, tower rewards so I finished the tower that's what i was mentioning earlier you should be finishing the tower because then you get 400 extra tower coins and 350 extra gold thousand gold so you collect those very very helpful okay the rest i'll just collect all and uh whoa whoa you decided <laughs> that was a glitch <laughs> and also um also baggy here something i oh, know guild dungeon yeah that's correct so now uh, one summoning sphere because my guild er has already reached 750 uh, gold but there's more tiers of ghouls we will get to that to those in, the, in a little bit so this video is becoming very long but i i hope i'm i'm um teaching you all a lot of things here then we have here the um, what you call those those are the special 
special events. Uh, the special events tab, you have here the daily bonus that you get. Uh, if you have VIP, uh, depending on your level, you'll get extra rewards here. Okay, today's to the. Uh, this month uh, um, is, is Isaac's month, so you will see Isaac's soul stones here. Then we have the skin sale. You click here, you also get these every day for free. So do that. So get get these ones for free, get these ones for free. Then check all the other missions and if, if it's worthwhile, you can, you can collect rewards and try to get some extra. In the case of top of the tower, not really worth that unless you have um, another, another, another quest that rewards you for d for opening chests in the tower then you can uh, combine these two and, and get uh, double rewards but for this one not really worth it so guardians of outland is the main event going on on mobile and this one is worth doing and, and getting extra extra rewards so eventually i will do some heroic chests i will spend more energy i will uh, open more outland chests but the free to play part is already um in itself rewarding okay uh, speaking of heroic chest let's open one for free so our daily chest no cleaver huh <laughs> too bad so collect these rewards what else do we have arenas and dungeon okay let's do arena Oh, before we do arena, let's go back to the expeditions here. So you saw that I had more to do, so no, I can collect these, get all these these rewards. And start doing more. And I, I think I cannot do any more together. We'll have to wait one at a time. So close this. Then we have the arena. So I'll do. I need to do three fights to get the, the reward, and also to get the daily reward, and uh, that you can see here in the rules. I believe. Mm, yeah. So to get these daily rewards for your current rank, you need to do at least one fight a day. So you should be doing one fight a day, regardless if you win or, or lose. Just do and. If you don't have time, just do one random fight, that doesn't matter. But at least do one fight. And um, I'll do one fight now, and... Um, I don't know. Trying to pick a target here, maybe Silvus. Sorry, Silvus, if that's your case. No, not going to be your case. <laughs> Let's check. Um, oh, speaking of this, there is this uh, a kind of an unofficial rules in many servers that you should not be uh, targeting a player that is on his um on his uh, current hour for uh, daily rewards so try to respect those you can see that on the player's name they will have like a plus one or a plus two i don't think i can win win any of these fights but uh i need to fight something so i'll just go and fight so this player di didn't have a, 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 a time zone on his on his nickname so I don't know his time zone, so I'll just do a random fight. As long as it's not close to the uh, daily reward time uh, in, in Europe, which is my case here, in, in, I'm in Europe, uh, then I suppose I'm 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 uh, not disturbing too much, but the, the player could be anywhere, so you never know. So we did one fight there, and oh, did we win? Probably not. We just checked the... Oh, I did win. <laughs> Sorry, Gantar. See here, this one has a plus eight, so is on a completely different time zone. Let's now uh, do also arena. Uh, something that I can win. I have no idea. I guess I can just come back to this and do it uh, comfortably. Ah, maybe here. Do it comfortably o over the day just so i can give you uh, some idea of that so you can just do the fight quick you can uh, uh, speed up the fight if you have access to that you cannot uh, change auto mode that's for arena and granarina that is, that's not available but you can skip the fight altogether so that you don't spend time looking at it so defeat no surprise there 
well, it's, it's counting there 30 seconds. What else can we check on? Um, oh, yeah, we received a bunch of chests, so we can open these to get some rewards because these ones here will give you uh, uh, violet items. So you can either accumulate or just open every day. I just open every day because I, I'm trying to evolve my, upgrade my heroes. These ones you can safely uh, accumulate and leave for a later time. And sometimes they will give you soul stones, so it might be useful to save for those type of events. But it, it's not common, it's rare. Only a few, a, few, a few of those chests will have um, soul stones. These ones just give uh, XP potions and the common chests give XP potions and, and low level items. So we've done those. Let's do one more fight to collect the reward, I guess. Um, yeah, this one. I, I usually win. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can win again. Uh, if I win, sorry. If I don't win, well, too bad for me. Let's just skip the fight. Done. Let's see the journal. I oh, defeated. Oh, so he's not going to be upset with me. <laughs> That's done for 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 that let's collect the rewards the last thing i would want to show is the um, the dungeon and the guild war so the dungeon i've already made a video um yesterday that went live uh yesterday uh, where i showed you i showed you um auto dungeon and what you can you can get here uh Auto dungeon, if you have access to that, that depends on your Valkyrie's favor, you can just do this daily. Okay, just collect your um, your your rewards by just doing the dungeon uh, auto mode. Okay? Like that. Um, and that's that's uh, one way of doing this. We, if you have uh, if you don't have enough time, if you don't have uh, strong enough teams to, to push a lot further, uh, if um, your device is not capable of doing the fights and you just want to, to skip those fights entirely, then you can do auto, okay? Uh, otherwise, you should be doing manual and, well, this this is enough to demonstrate that. I have a separate video for that. But you should be getting um, at least, at least helping your guild with 65 Titanite every day. And I will show you why. If you do, if every player is doing 65, that's 1950 Titanite. You see here, the second tier of rewards is at 1800. So if every player in your guild is doing at least 65, or 60, 60 is fine too, but 65, then you will, you will have enough to meet that goal and to get uh, these uh, extra rewards every day. So at 750, 750 Titanite, you will get one summoning sphere. At 1,800 Titanite, you will get two extra. So that's three per day that you can get for every person in your guild. Just by doing 60 or 65 Titanite daily. Okay? More on that on other videos. Let's, let's go now to the last part of my video. Um... Which which is the titans and and the and also the the competitions, so circle of summoning. You can open here the the summoning spheres. I tend to accumulate, and then open them all together. Saves me time. If you do the 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 dungeon, you will be getting uh, souls. If you have your soul, your mm, at least one of your titan souls maxed, a titan. One of your titans uh, evolved to max soul uh, to max uh, to max star, then you will get extra souls eventually, and those souls then don't get used for that titan anymore. But you can you can trade them for titan soul coins, just like extra hero souls can be traded for uh, soul shop coins that you can trade for jet, like we've seen earlier. So I trade these. And then I can spend these on Titan potions. Okay. There's other things you can get here, like the Sparks of Power or the Golden Horns. I, I would recommend you always get the Titan potions until you have your Titans maxed. And then you can start looking at Sparks. Never gold. Don't waste that. 
and then the titans you can you can upgrade your titans here like where is my nova go in here and spend some some titan potions and upgrade her i'm not doing that now but you know the drill is like using xp potions for your heroes but you don't get rewards for this then you have the element cradle uh, where we had done the the um the, f the boss fights for the hydra right and we can here in the altar spend um spend your your uh, elemental spheres to to get rewards here you don't need to do that daily because you don't have in any ways a reward for that daily daily quest or anything and here you will spend you will spend the the, uh, the Titan artifacts. You don't you don't have a, a, a daily quest for that either, so there's no need to spend that daily. You can just accumulate and spend later time when you know where you want to spend. And the um, so that's all for the titans. Uh, the heart of power here is, is just basically those those uh, places where you can do the glyphs and the gift of the elements that you've seen in the in the town um, daily daily. Um, the requests and also of, of note here this is where you saw that screen for uh, the activity contribution so you see here for contribution of activity and you see or on the town uh, daily quests um, panel you have that quest you where you can see and the circle of summoning the same for titanite okay those are the places where you can see these then the competition well the competition if you have access um to if you if you are in a guild you will have access to to guild war regardless of your league uh, qualifying bronze silver or gold and if you are on gold you will also have access to the the cross server tournament or csw so i will uh, just uh, tell you this outright if you are assigned to either of these competitions you need to do that okay you need to to respect your guild and your guild master and and uh, officers and generals and you need to do to do this they are counting on you your entire guild is counting on you so that the, the guild can try to win so that everybody can can win rewards so this is just logics okay so do your fights daily uh, even even if you guys are losing just just um, do those fights because other otherwise it's just disrespectful uh, if you are if you are assigned a, a, a target go for that target don't go random please guys yeah don't go like skip the individualities this is a team event okay it's like the hydra the hydra you cannot assign targets but if you see that everybody is going for a hydra then go for that hydra okay don't that hydra head don't don't go random okay uh, unless it's really early and uh, you know that you do much better on a certain either head and you know that by the end of the day you, c you can all collect those heads then that's different but go f go for the ones that are, are being fought more in case of the competitions follow in the case of guild war competitions follow your assignments that will be set here in case of csw there's no assignments uh, possible yet just check on the chat check on the chat for directions people might be telling you telling you uh, some some things here um currently nothing about that here but always check like i just did now the chat um in in, in the case of this guild i am the guild master and it is up to me and the generals to assign targets okay so this uh, fight today is not one of the easier ones and it seems like we are doing the most progress here on the gates of nature so i'll go ahead and try to assign some targets here so for example here this guy this target here i will i will possibly ping here roland to do this fight and then this one here also uh, <laughs> guild masters and, and generals don't let your team down you know, assign some targets please give some directions all right don't let people figure out by themselves what they should be doing just assign some targets and gene here i will um i will put maybe also oh this one is out of fights i want to spend i want to save uh, um, 
Roland for something else. So I will. Oh, we we have two inactives here. These two guys here. So I cannot count of them, on those. I will set. Uh, I guess Shalmaran, and they will just, you know, two or three guys will try to knock knock out this one here. I don't have. Um, I'm I'm in the, the mid level mid power for my guild, so I cannot take on those guys by myself. So I will wait for a stronger guy to take them down further, so then I can finish them off. Okay. So that's that's it for uh, guild war for me for now. Later on, later on I will check and try to use my attacks uh, properly. Then for uh, CSW, as I was saying, you cannot assign targets. So see, I have uh, this this one target here. That is that is almost finished, but there's no assign button yet. The developers are working on that. So I will try to instead uh, do something of uh, worthwhile on my own. And um, seems that the guild is is doing just fine. It's an easy day. I don't need to give much direction. They already figured it out. So they will eventually try to finish Lighthouse, Foundry, and Citadel, and maybe Gates because it's easy. I will check on the Citadel if I can help. Oh, looks like I didn't click click properly. It's finished loading. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, just if you guys are wondering if you're seeing this for the first time, the CSW, like I mentioned before, is only available after your guild uh, joins the Gold League. And also it's not available on browser versions, okay? Just for mobile version. So, yes, I can possibly do this fight here. I suppose I can win this fight. Um, but tell you what, I'm not really doing these fights now because I don't want to uh, expose uh, tactics, nor um, I guess freeze the game. <laughs> it's becoming a bit slow. And also not take a lot of time on this because this will take um, some time. It's just to, to, to guide you through, do your fights. If you're the guild master or general, assign fights for your for your your guild um, to do, okay. I didn't assign all of them; I just assigned a few, just so you guys could could see. And uh, do your dungeon. I mean, that's uh, the minimal and the Hydra. And the four pillars of guild collaboration. Do the competitions, the the guild competitions. Not I'm not talking about the arenas, okay. Guild War and CSW, if you have it available. Do the Hydra do the dungeon okay and while doing the dungeon you know get the, the titanite and spend your energy to get the activity so that's the four things you need to do daily collect spend spend uh, spend your um your resources to get to get um spend your energy to get the activity do the dungeon to get the titanite for your guild and then the the guild competitions and either those are the four things you need to, to do daily for your guild and for yourself by the way and with that i hope you enjoyed this i've collected uh, everything i want or can now i will check back on this later i hope this was very informative this is a very long video <laughs> one hour video i wasn't counting on that long um but i i hope you you learned a lot of this uh, a lot from this and that this will, will help you on your day-to-day -day, um, tasks. Um, if you do this properly, you might you might do the entire thing daily on under an hour, under an hour, an hour and a half or so. So hopefully not not too much time. So I hope to see you around. And if you like this video, give um, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. So give me some support on that if you can. And um, good luck in the Dominion. <laughs>